Objective. He was probably stoked. Bro, he was in. He was bro. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's better you don't reach out to him. Yeah. Don't don't say that. She's giving out bro jobs. They're so good. <laughs> Here it comes. Is Dingle here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, I'm making jokes, but your name is Loveberry, right? Yeah, my real name is Angel, though. I don't mind sharing it, so. It's Angel. A yes, sir. And Angel, do you prefer Loveberry or Angel? You can use Angel. I like my name. Angel, so are you, are you trans? No, so I um met this guy and Oh, you have a micro penis story. <laughs> That's a huge yeah. difference. Really different. I, there was a word there that I missed. But I'm interested in a micro penis story actually as well. Yeah, so um I was on hinge one day and I saw this guy that I thought was cute. He dressed nice, he seemed funny, so I liked him. We talked for like a month, you know, talking on the phone, doing all that stuff, watching videos together, watching movies together. And then one day he came over to my house. And so we're at my house. We're watching some videos on my bed. Um, I think I'm thinking he's cute. So I, I like go in for a kiss. We're like kissing for a little bit. And then it like gets a little hot and heavy. And then so I ask if it's OK if I touch him and he says yes. And so whenever I pull down his pants, it is a micro penis, and I didn't have a reaction right there. I just kind of like jerked him off, basically. And then, like while that was happening, he um, called me bro twice, <laughs> and then he called me Turn of endearment, mm. bro. That's my man. I call you a bro all the time, but not while she's jerking me off. <laughs> what was the con what was the context of him calling you bro while you were jerking him off? He he was moaning and then he said, "Oh, bro." No bro. way. Yes way. Good bro. Yes way. Yes That's awesome. Way. So that did that did that turn like really? Okay, well hold on. Hold Better on. than if you said, "Bruh." Bruh. Right. Yeah. If he's like, "Oh, bruh." Bruh. 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 I'm having a bruh <laughs> moment here. Bruh. You know what? Coming is. T I, you know, look. To be fair to him, coming is a total bruh moment. Yeah. Undeniably right. so. Very true. Okay, so um, he didn't warn you ahead of time uh, because I feel like if you're a guy with a micro penis, and this is a really tough situation to be in, I've expressed my deepest condolences to these guys out there. I think right. the best course of action is to give a heads up. Mm, you think I, so? I think so because you don't want the shock factor. The shock factor is going to be a tough. How? Micro of yes. a penis are we talking? Because you're saying you're able to jerk him off, so I'm wondering, right. like, are we using two fingers or are we going with the whole hand? Or are we have like a, some tweezers? Jacket. So oh. I don't know how graphic I can get. Go ahead. But basically, he was kind of a chunky guy, and his um, I'm also a chunky girl, so uh, nothing wrong with that. But I was like, I when I pulled his pants down, it was already hard, and it was basically like maybe an inch or two so i don't really know if that qualifies as micro penis i would say it does yeah when i was jerking him yeah. off like he had a little bit of a fupa and yeah. so when i was jerking okay. like i felt more of his penis maybe under the fupa question mark i really don't Darn. know so i'll be so, I'll, yeah when you're a larger guy the penis actually it can get well, I don't know that it gets smaller, but the fat starts to consume the base of it. So, so I got, I'm kind of curious. Okay, so for your calling in, are you attempting, uh, like, to make sense of this? Are you, like, what, I mean, what did you, what did you make of the situation? Like, did you, have you talked to him again? Yeah, We're so basically, now. after that, so, like, I jerked him off for a little bit, and after like the second bro, I was pretty much like, my hands getting tired. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Okay. Good <laughs> and, then, and then he was like, oh yeah, for sure. And then I don't know, like I I'm the type of person who's like really open and honest, so I don't know why I did this, but I was like, my uncle's coming home. You have to go. And he's like mm. from like a city over, so maybe it was like an hour drive, two hour drive. So like. Okay. And when he left, I was just like, oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? And so, like, we talked for, like, three days after that, and then I, like, ghosted, and I feel so, like, really, really bad. And I've been, like, thinking about it, like, every single day since it's happened. 
I just feel like super guilty because like I feel like it's a really superficial mm, reason. Yeah. This is One, well, was it stop. the bro or the micro penis or a combination? It was a combination, but also he had like uh he was really religious. He had just like come out of like Jehovah's Witness, so like mm. he had been a like being out of that. And like when he had foreskin, I didn't mention this part because we got a little far, but when his foreskin like wouldn't come down. Tight foreskin. I've heard Is of it that. Like crusted with cum and like kind of stuck. I don't know. I, don't know. I like it looked That's like a... it looked like you would like put your head into a turtleneck and like tight foreskin. Like... Yeah. You'd be surprised how many people I've talked to and met. Yeah. who have super tight foreskin and people always go there's a big guy. i would be surprised at that i hear it all the time now i see and i'm saying people always coming out against circumcision has become like a big talking point really to to consider um circumcision genital mutilation mm -hmm. but i will say and listen that might be true um however getting circumcised as a man with tight foreskin like when a baby gets circumcised, when my son's got circumcised, it literally takes five minutes and they heal in like two days. Mm. But I'll tell you, I know people who got circumcised as adults for type four skin, and that shit will change your life for the worse, bro. Why you're do you not the same? You're circumcised, aren't you? You are not the same man. Yes, I am. How do, how do you feel like that's negatively impacted your life? Not at all. I'm Jewish. No, I'm happily circumcised. That's why I find it funny when people are trying to tell me that. My genitals are mutilated. I, I don't feel that my genitals are mutilated. Isn't circumcision, isn't that literally mutilating a genital? <clears throat> yeah, but I think the term genital mutilation, which I think first came to arise when you're talking about like women in the Islamic world who are the very, uh, 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 who get their, you know, clitoris or the vagina uh -huh. circumcised, which is essentially them removing their trying to stop them from having pleasure from sex so when you compare it to something like that i i i'm going to disagree what did i say wrong i'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, I, 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 that's just for safety for myself ignore me i feel like doesn't doesn't being circumcised like make it that, your penis i was more sensitive that. um are, you must be circumcised oh yeah yeah well so uh, apparently no apparently the the foreskin has a great number of 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 uh nerves in it okay yeah it's you said that uh you know a lot of it's you know what it's think it's a beautiful thing that you have so many close connections in your life i swear to god i do that they'll be willing to tell you about the the circumstances of their foreskin but there are a lot of men actually and i will say this yeah. who are who are like i regret or i resent that my parents made that decision for me and i wish right. That I had my foreskin. So to them, I think your grievance is valid. I saw, I remember a time when I saw like a, uh, a guy's, I was watching like a porn thing and I saw a guy's <laughs> uh, foreskin completely envelop his penis. And I, I didn't know at the time that all penises don't look like that. Mm -hmm. I had that. That's, I a, had that I, that's, a, that's a young Jewish boy I had that rite too. of passage, I just said, realizing not everyone's penis looks bro, like that. Bro, the first time I saw uncircumcised penis, it must have been in porn or something too, I was like, that dude has, that dude wrong with this is, guy? is mutilated. Yeah. Like he has some weird Right, that, that if you're like, <laughs> yeah. it looks like a worm or something, the I was like, that in my head was, was mutilation. Hey, are you still there? Yes, I am. I'm yeah, here. so back, back so, to uh, so, so, Loveberry. So I, here's, I, 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 I'm going to say this. I understand why you did what you did because you want to be honest, but like it's hard. Like, at what point? Like, you don't want to be like, hey, I don't want to talk anymore because you have a small penis because you don't want to hurt his feelings. But also, you don't want to talk to him anymore and you don't have to. So, I mean, what, what part of this are you feeling the most guilty about? I just like, I know that if like someone did this to me, I yeah. would like I don't like being ghosted. I don't ghost people. That's not something I do. Okay. And I like obviously like it isn't like a problem. Like he, it's not his fault that that happened. Mm -hmm. it's, like I don't know. I feel like I'm just like putting too much not on him. Fault. Like, <laughs> and I'm not doing enough. Like maybe I should have said something. Maybe I should have just been like, hey, I don't think it's gonna work out. How long ago then, is this? Like, 
so that was in november but he texted me most recently on new year's so he's like texted me a few times since okay. that and i just I, I i get what she's feeling bad about <laughs> sure. like you're you, you know you're confronted with the okay yeah i get it you know but it's hard that's why i feel like he should have warned you ahead of time and it's it's just horrible having a micro penis is generally just is so i feel so sorry because you're it's just it's not a good conversation it's like having i mean it's almost like having what are you? i was gonna say like it's like having full-blown aids bro <laughs> because you gotta say something you oh, gotta be like okay i guess i'm following yeah I, you gotta be like baby i listen before we get freaky i gotta tell you i have full-blown super aids well, he may, you know what? It's also a possibility. He might not know that he has he a micro penis. He knows. He might not know. This man's been watching porn since he was eight years old, like the rest of us. He has spent a lifetime of fucking having giant hogs in his face. Well, she said uh, he was Jehovah's Witness, so if he was, oh, actually devout, he might not know he has okay. a micro penis. Yeah, he might okay, not be hold aware. on. I, I, let's, 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 I want to keep probing, much like you probing for his tiny penis. Now, <laughs> You're so fast with it, Zach. It is very impressive. Now, um, Loveberry, first I want the details. Were you able to hold the whole thing in your hand, or were you jerking with two fingers? Genuinely curious. So I'm like 4'10". I have pretty small hands, so it fit in my hand. Okay. And it did it pop out the top of your hand, or was it contained in your fist? It was contained. Wow. Was was there? Was it just jerking off, or was there the any? She said that. <laughs> was there any? Was there any like oral sex, or it just kind of ended like that? So we kissed for a while, and then that happened. But I was on my period, so I told mm. him that we we wouldn't do anything to me, mm. so we wouldn't have had sex or anything either way. I gotta say, there is like giving if like blowing a guy with a micro penis. There is something like r slash oddly satisfying about just you can put the whole thing in. Yeah. Fisting. Yeah, there certainly be no problem by the sound of that. Um, I understand that you, why you you feel I I think the for this particular instance, it I think the window is past you. You, you like if he texted you a month ago, so. you don't want. No, I mean you don't want to text him back and be like, hey, sorry, because no, no, no. I actually gonna disagree with you. Go for Men it. Men are fucking. We are. At general, pathetic, we have no, we don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I'll take a, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm married, but like, I'm sure he'd take her back. And here's what I'm thinking. My question for you is this, Love Barry. Do you have feelings for this guy? Are you still interested in him? I remember, like, honestly, I have a pretty bad memory and I talk to a lot of people and I go on a lot of dates. So I remember him being really funny. I remember him dressing really nice, but I don't, I wouldn't say I had, I have feelings for him. It's more just like in the back of my mind where I'm like thinking about it all the time. Like just the way I reacted, it's like, well, not okay. mean. Well then, you know, I, I actually, I, I, I retract my, I think it wouldn't be a horrible thing well, maybe, to be like, hey, had a, yeah. you know, let's be friends. If, if, if you actually want to be friends with Or him. not even to be friends, but like maybe just if you feel so bad, just say, you know, hey, I want to, it's awkward, right? But just say, what would you yeah. say if you could say something to him? I'd like to know. That's a good question. Me? Yeah. Like, I would say, hey, I'm really sorry for the way I reacted whenever mm. we hung out. I really, like, it, I think it was really terrible of me to post. Mm. Like, that's not the person I want to be. Mm -hmm. And I want to change, like, what I did. And so then he says, it, mm -hmm. he says to you, I don't, what are, why what did it? you leave? He says, why, why did you, why did you make me leave? He doesn't why know. did you unmatch me? He says, he says he, I don't understand why you did that. What do you say? That was so fast. I would say I know this is probably not the best thing to hear and wouldn't sound the best coming from me, but I just don't think we would work sexually. It's me. Yeah, maybe it's better you don't reach out to him. You're just going to have to swallow your guilt on that one, girl. Yeah. Don't, don't say that. It's hard yeah. to it's hard to uh, kind of like gauge just how honest to because I uh, like I guess you have to wonder like when you're saying hey uh, you have a you know I mean you don't have to say right the way you phrased it we don't work out sexually like who are you serving by sending that it's text? For, yeah it's you know, yeah. bad idea yeah. well um, 
What is an ideal length? I, in my opinion, my personal opinion, at least five to six inches. But that's not greedy. You know, it's not greedy at all. You know, it's yeah. good to know that. That's why you. That's why we go on dates. We're slowly building up, you know, our ideas of what's what's important to us. And well, what's, well, you know. most men are uh, at least in America, well within five, I believe. Yeah. Oh, you'll you'll find. Yeah. Some something. But it's possible. Well, what I was thinking is, it's possible that this man he has this micro penis and he knows this is an issue. Um. You are on your period, so that kind of resolves my second part, but he could be just like a demon when he fucking goes down on you. In a good way. That could be true, but also he told me that that was his first time doing anything with anyone ever. Okay, so... Mm. He, he's got a rough life ahead of him, I'm not gonna lie. This man has a lot no, to learn, and he's, got, he's gonna have to cross a lot of bridges. This, is, this man has a path to walk. Yes. And I hope he walks it. He's got no choice. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the. Th uh, so I wouldn't feel too guilty because here's the th is the the alternative of like not cutting things off is now two people are in a thing where you'd have you to know, explain that to you him. You have to explain it to him. Cut them off. He's gonna have to. F he's gonna that also get it Peterson? eventually. You know what I mean? But I feel so bad for this poor guy. But honestly, I, I wouldn't blame. I'd be too hard on yourself because like. Listen, this is going to happen to him, and it's going to keep happening to him. So this dude, whoever he is, mm. he's going to have to learn how to approach sexual encounters in a way that is comfortable for him and his partner. Mm. Uh, it shocked you, right? You didn't expect that. So um, I wouldn't be too hard on yourself, you know what I mean? And anyway, okay. you jerked him off, so he's probably stoked. That's true. Very true. He called you bro twice, dude. <laughs> I know he loved it, so yeah, I'll just Good take bro. that as I can. Is there anything? Is there anything else you want to say to the people of the computer before we go? Um, I love Olivia and Sam and Lena. Love women. We, we love, love women. women. All women. We women love, love women, women here on the show, folks. Don't we? We love women, folks. Love them very much. Yeah, that was a good that was a good story though. I appreciate you sharing that. Thank you, thank you for having me. And don't me. feel too bad. Don't feel too yeah, bad. Yeah, I don't think yourself. you should feel bad. Yeah, you're you're okay. You're okay. This is a tough. It's a tough situation. You know what I mean? It's 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 fine. You you panicked. You were shocked by it. I get it. I, yes. Thank you for getting it. It's his fault for having a tiny fucking penis. All right. Thank you so much, Angel. <laughs> Bye. Yes. Not your fault. It's not your fault. I always say this, and people think I'm being silly. Mm -hmm. Having a micro penis has got to be one of the worst fucking conditions. You said it was like AIDS. Super AIDS. <laughs> it's Terminal, like... uncurable super AIDS, bro. Yeah. Would you ra Would you rather have AIDS or a micro penis? I'd rather have a micro penis. Yeah. I and mean, I don't want to be dying, but yeah, that's not but, fair. Like in terms of like non-terminal diseases, uh -huh. this has got to be one of the the toughest to work through as a guy. Would you rather have a micro penis or really, really small hands? Well, I already, I didn't make that choice, but I already have, but that's my life. Mm -hmm. I have tiny hands. Mm -hmm. yeah, did the you math. notice that, Lyle? Were you purposely yeah, you pointing that, that out? Well, I... your hand, we, uh, we've kind of, um, uh, How did you say word? that, bro? Why did I say that? Yeah. I think, Ethan, I, I think your hands are of, wait, can we? I generally don't do this, but. I'll do it for you. They're, they're, they're the same. They're, they're hmm. pra practically the same as mine. I don't like to talk about my hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep your hands off my fucking car. <laughs> this is out in the open. It's not a surprise to anyone. Like we all know. No. I wear gloves on my very dates, clear usually, how before small you your hands are to all of us. Yeah, I wear gloves. It's oversized gloves. Mm. I'm trying really I'm really thinking about this micro penis thing and what this guy is gonna I think it's not, I I think that it'll be because he's gonna it's gonna keep happening and he's gonna wonder he's like gonna figure what, it out. he's gonna wonder why and it would be nice to have somebody tell him why but also I don't know he's gonna figure it out he's gonna figure it out it's I not that. her problem you know what I mean there's, there's more to life than you know having a micro penis I think not Angel. Much. 
I mean, I'll I, say, I get why she's felt guilty, but uh, you know, she she may have been shocked, but she still did the act, you know? Right. I mean? She like, still touched his penis. Yeah, which I'll, is pretty good from his perspective. He was probably stoked. Bro, he was a, he was bro. Yeah, right. I'll say this: <laughs> if uh, if if the devil came down and was like, you must open this box, and inside is a life where you have uh, a small penis. Uh, and then, or it could be a life where you have AIDS. If I opened the box and it was the small penis life, I'd be, I'd be stoked. I'd be like, hell yeah. Well, you can now live with AIDS pretty much for yeah. indefinitely. It's cool to have any kind of a life, even one Just with saying. a small penis. No, I would, I would take a micro penis over a terminal illness for sure. You know, I want to live, damn it. But, uh, I love you too, Jeremy. I, I genuinely Calvus. think there's probably some dudes who would choose to die. Problem. I genuinely think that, and uh, I'm not kidding. Bro jobs, Hazel says. She's giving out bro jobs. They're so good. <laughs> bro. Let's keep it on. So yeah. thank you, Loveberry. That was a nice call. Thank you very much. You want to pick the next one? I'm gonna go to the. Actually, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Right. You need the bathroom? I'm I'm cool. You want to pick one? Right, look I'll... at us. Couple of former Adult Swim interns here. Oh yes. Talking Actually, about micro penises. Look how far we've come. I know. I know. Life is life is crazy. This feels like a nice full circle moment. Yeah. Still live streaming. <laughs> H Factory.